Hello, everybody. I wanted to take a deep dive today into thoughts, into um, the importance of them, and describe in more detail how exactly they're shaping our journey, our path. Um... So first and foremost, when we, when we when we say the word thought, we think words, right? We think words. So for this message today, I want you to reframe and shift the way you think about thoughts. And I want you to think of thoughts as energy. Okay? And when we describe thoughts as energy, really, specifically what we're pointing to is patterns. Energetic patterns patterns of perception and patterns of uh, behavior. So basically what that means is if A happens, B happens. Okay, so essentially thought in this context is what karma is, cause and effect. So when we look at things like triggers, so um, when, when we look at emotional upsets, when we look at um, crazy energetic shifts that seem to come out of the blue. When we look at irrational responses, what we're looking at is loops of patterns or energies that have not completed themselves or closed themselves. That is essentially what karma is. Okay. And these patterns, they have an origin. They have an origin and it's actually not an origin you can trace back to childhood and it's not an origin that you can trace back to, um, an event because they're transpersonal. So they originate first and foremost from the parental and or primary caregivers. And then beyond that, it's the patterning that um, originated from their caretakers and then their caretakers and the caretakers before that until you get to a very primal origin of these energetic systems. You get to a very uncivilized, unsocialized, um, chaotic, a form of um, uh, communication and translation. And so all that has to come a very long way in this framework that I'm describing to you in order to reach, you know, you and your husband at the kitchen table to where he tells you he doesn't like your chicken, right? And that turns into, I am not loved, he doesn't love me, or whatever. Oops. Sorry, I do have a tripod. I just refuse to hike with it um, because, you know. Anyway, so um, so the dynamic of this patterning. I'll give you a, an example of it. So if you had a, um, if you grew up in a very patriarchal household, if you grow up in a household where um, this is just an example. I mean, there are all kinds of households. But where the fa the father figure, or the or the predominant masculine energy, was the generator and the protector and the caretaker, and the uh, the counterpart of that was you know more of a powerless vi victim codependent pattern, then you end up with those same uh, thinking structures within your own psyche, within your own energetics. So the way that you perceive the world, the content of existence is through those lenses. Okay. And, um, they will color, they will completely saturate your understanding of, of what's happening and blind you in a way to the truth of how things are. And so, when you have people going through awakenings, meaning that they are um, able to see things as they really are, all that means is that they've zoomed out of their own particular lens of perception. And they're now able, um, or the it's not even them doing it, because when we're talking about perception, we're talking about a mysterious being. The same mysterious being that speaks here listens there, seemingly. It's non-local though. So it's really just everything, everyone and everywhere. Um, and so that recognizing, um, that is what's, what's recognizing um, and registering what's happening. 
without the coloring or without the filtration system of programmed perception. So what I want to talk about specifically in today's message is the resolution of these karmic patterns and the imminence of their complete and total um, uh, reintegration. Because what's going to happen if you don't integrate them? Because they're actually, um, they're, they, they belong to the collective. They be, belong to the origin of consciousness itself which is, again, very primitive. Consciousness is extremely primitive. It's also moving towards evolution, towards a more socialized, sophisticated expression of itself, right? And in this context here, in the non-dual context, we're talking about an evolution of consciousness towards wholeness, towards unity, and towards oneness. Okay. So it sounds like it's going back to its origin, but it's actually evolving in and through our triggers, in and through our thinking patterns and energetic bodies. And the reason I've decided to talk about this is because through time, through the, you know, I don't know, seven years that I've been blogging on here, it's become very clear to me. Um, it's become very apparent why people get on, um, experience these extraordinary levels of consciousness and perception and then end up, um, s stuck and unable to move, um, and complete these shifts. And again, integration, that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, so let's keep moving. It is freezing. It totally snowed. For two days and it's like 30 degrees out um so so when a uh, pattern like victimhood or criticism or um um you know self-worth or um feeling unlovable, feeling like you don't belong, because these are the triggers. These are these primitive origins I'm talking about. When they arise in the spiritualized dealings of things, um, we, we want to shift them. We want to get rid of them. We want to send them back home, quote unquote. Um, unfortunately, what we have to come to realize Sometimes the not so fun way is that that is actually a form of violence. It's a form of resistance. It's a form of suppression and repression and it's a propagation of shadow. So the uh, unified perspective, the non-dual perspective of that is one of non-resistance. But the key here that unlocks these the trans the, the, these potent transmutations and alchemical um, qualities of wholeness and oneness is um, is not you being non-resistant, right? Not you surrendering. It's actually um, a uh, a stewarding and in, in a caretaking of these expressions of consciousness of. Uh, I want to say lower, but they're not necessarily lower because they're attempting to evolve through you. They're attempting to resolve and evolve and eventually to feel something means to heal something. That's the great wisdom that I've come to know through years of experience. Most times very unpleasant experience. Um, but to feel means to heal. And we're relearning how to come back into touch with our physical sentience. Okay, meaning that that the, we, we come to trust the body. Then the body's been violated through so many different, there's so many different defense mechanisms. Not to mention, you know, anytime you've been hurt or injured in some way or form, you end up with the whole not trusting the body um, dynamic, but that's not for this video. So, um, so, so for these eruptions and disruptions, my suggestion to you that comes from a, a deep place of experience 
is to fully and completely continue feeling um, the discomfort in the body. I'm going to say that again. I don't care if you don't understand anything from this video except this. This is the most important thing. Feel the discomfort in your body. Feel it. All the way. And you will experience, and I swear to you, I promise you, you will experience magic. Magic. You will experience the freedom that you are. You won't just think it. You won't just know it. You will be a living, breathing emanation of that freedom. I feel like I need to repeat, repeat that because it's so key. Um, next time you have a trigger or an upset or a disruption, do not run from it. Do not hide. Do not reject it, resist it, modify it, try and heal it, try and surrender it or do anything with it. Feel the discomfort in your body, specifically in the physical vessel. To feel it means to be absolutely and completely free on a mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, and energetic level. That is what integration is. That is the path that leads you out of bondage. Okay? And let me see if there's a non-dual PS here. Yeah, the non-dual PS is, is that you're already feeling it. And that's what's already happening. So you're just coming into touch with the nature of things as they really are. Okay? So again, I always say this. If When I feel like I'm putting some heavy hitter content out, I always say, please rewatch it. Rewatch it again. You know? Because I go pretty fast when I, I express these things. They come out real fast and... I, I'm barely able to think of what's coming out. So anyway, mwah. love you guys so much. Hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. Stay warm. See you soon. Bye-bye.